Well, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today I'm here to do my February wrap up. Um, it is right now the 27th, so I am going to be talking about a book that I am almost done with. I am not completely through, but I'm gonna finish it tonight. So, anyways, let's just dive into it, you'll see. Um, let's first start with the stats like I did last month. I really enjoyed the stats. If you don't, I'm sorry. You can skip, um, like, in 30 seconds, I should be talking about the books I may have read this month. So, um, let's jump into the stats. So this month, I read six books. Um, four of them were read on audio and two in physical form. I read a total of 1,976 pages for an um, average of 70 pages a day, which I definitely didn't read. I mostly binge read the whole month. <laughs> I read four YA and two middle grade. I read um, three fantasy and three contemporary. I read five books that I gave five stars and one book that I gave four stars. So that's an average of 4.8 stars. Like, that's amazing. I had a very good reading month. Let me tell you, it was great. Um, so uh, from my yearly tbr tbr like the videos on, i posted i read three books that are um for that tbr i also read one book from last last month's video of tbr which is pretty sad but you know <laughs> i read two on voices books and i read four books that i previously owned before 2018 one new book that I received in 2018, and one library book. So um, let's just dive into the books and talk about them. First thing I read this month is City of Love Souls by Cassandra Clare, and this is the fifth book in the uh, Mortal Instruments. I read this as an audio, and I gave it five out of five stars. This book was very good. Like, I am impressed. I really didn't enjoy the first half of this series and like it keeps on building up and I get why people like it now I really do um I understand like the characters are so engaging like the story is not the most impressive but it still keeps me on my toes and like I love the characters um I am currently reading the fifth and I have to say that it just keeps on getting better and better and better I just I don't know it's so good and the more I read the series and the less I like Clary and Jason, the more I like uh, Simon and um, Izzy. Which is weird because I used to hate Simon but now I love him and he's, Izzy is my fave and Minus and like everybody. Anyway, I just love this book so much. Um, I cannot talk about the plot. Obviously it's gonna be a lot of stuff spoilers but um, yeah. It was very good and I can't wait to finish this to start a new one um, because you know Everybody's raving about a new one, so yeah, very, very exciting. Next, um, I read Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Um, I read it as an audiobook and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Um, so this is the story of Aza and she and her um, best friend, uh, Daisy, they go um, on like this sort of like mystery solving adventure. And the billionaire that's disappeared is um, the father of an old friend of Ava's. And Ava um, has... Oh my god, I read three own voices books. Wow, I am completely confused this month. I will correct myself. I read three own voices books, okay? Ava is uh, has OCD and this is an own voices because John Green also has OCD. And I thought... I cannot speak for the OCD representation, okay? I don't know what it's like, but I thought the anxiety representation was on point. Like, literally, this was me. Ava was me, like, minus the OCD part, but like, this was actually me. And I just loved it so much. People really tend to not like it because there's no plot, but it's... I don't know. I love the character so much and I just related to this so so much so I really really enjoy it and I definitely recommend it unless you don't like character um, centered books. If you need a plot for a book this is not gonna like be for you 
because it's strange. It's a John book book, so it's a John book book. <laughs> it's a John Green book, so like you need to like characters to like this definitely. Next, I finished Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling, and this is the third book in the Harry Potter series. Obviously, you all know the plot, you all know what it's about, and I gave this book five out of five stars. Um, God dang it, I really enjoyed this one. So far, it's my favorite of the three. Um, it is so good and I get it. I get why people like this book so much. Like, to be completely 100% transparent with you, this is my least favorite freaking movie. I hate it. I hate it so much. I really do not like the movie. Okay, I really don't. I don't get it. The plot is so different and like... Wow! How do you miss this so much? Like, how do you like take out such important details and like completely transform the story in the movies? Anyways, I really don't get it and this was fantastic and I cannot wait to see what the other books are like if like my favorite, my least favorite movie is like my favorite book now, which is just insane. I don't get it. I just loved it so much and like the thing is that it's so slow paced like, for like almost um, three quarters of the books and then at the last quarter like everything happens and it's mind blowing. J.K. Rowling knows how to write a good book. She definitely knows. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli and it is the story of them. I forget everybody's name but um, I'll insert her name here. Um, <laughs> And she is an, uh, a plus-size girl and, you know, she um, explores herself. She had like 26 or 27 unrequited crushes in her life and it's just her exploring, uh, you know, uh, taking risks and, um, you know, getting to know herself and falling in love and stuff. And it is also an on voices because there's characters that are a lesbian and it was beautiful. It was amazing. I loved it. And as a plus size girl, I can say the rep was fantastic. The only thing I really like wanted to like it to stop is like <laughs> there's so much commentary on her weight. But let's just I I think that's just a common thread with plus size girls in ways and I don't get it. But yeah. Anyways, that's just life. I don't want to express myself correctly. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Next, I read a very, very sad book. <laughs> they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Um, it's all in the title. Um, it crushed my heart, my soul. This book killed me, okay? It's like fucking Adam Silvera. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, I wanted to scream at times, like, I really did want to scream at times. Um, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, obviously, because I was so invested in the characters, I actually cried a lot. And I really enjoyed it. It's an own voices book, because Adam is um, gay, and I think gay or bisexual. He likes boys, and there's boys that like boys in this, so... <laughs> Anyways, um, it was just so good. It was just so good. The only thing I really didn't enjoy all that much was the um, other characters' point of views. But like, I skimmed through them and like went through with the unway. <sighs> Read this book, okay? Because it's fucking amazing. This is a lot of um, instant instant love. How do you call that? Wow, I feel stupid. Um, Anyway, um, it's of course like an instant love thing, but like it is so touching and good and it's amazing. It's so well done. Um, I just love it. It's it, it blew my mind. Okay, it's great. Read this. Be prepared to cry, but like read it. Okay. Okay. Last but not least is. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by News Commander or uh, J.K. Rowling. This book is, first of all, beautiful as hell. Um, I am currently reading this. That's the book I'm not completely finished with, but I will finish it tonight. It is just stunning. 
Let me show you. Look at the freaking basilisk. It is fantastic. It is so good. Um, it's just fun. Um, I'm probably gonna give this four stars. Like most definitely gonna give it four stars because there's not much to it, but it's so much fun. And I always love, uh, you know, books that uh, talk about creatures. Um, I love it so much. So I really enjoyed this. The uh, colors and everything is so beautiful. Look at freaking uh, the illustrations are fantastic. And if you can read the freaking audiobook, it is so good. Like there's a whole soundtrack for the whole book, and it's um, Eddie Redmayne that's like narrating it. It's so good. It's so good. Read the audiobook, okay? I am currently reading the audiobook and following uh, through in the book. Definitely awesome, and it's fun to read it after reading the um, Prisoner of Azkaban because you know they talk about um, this. Uh, they talk about Fantastic Beasts, so it's fun to know what they talk about. Yeah, it's good. It's <sighs> it's very good. It's pretty. I mean, it's not like the best thing ever, but it's worth it. So yeah recommend it a hundred percent it's totally worth the buy or at least like as a gift it's awesome because i received it as a gift and it's great those are all of the books i read this month um i had a really good month of reading as you can see i read like five five star reads so it was definitely a good month of reading i just binge read a lot to avoid responsibilities i didn't read all that much even though it it appears to uh, have been a very successful reading month. I like, I had a full week not reading at all because I was so exhausted. But uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> overall, a very good reading month. Um, so please let me know in the comments down below uh, if you've read any of those books. And um, if you did, let me know what you thought of those books. And otherwise, let me know what you read this month that you really enjoyed or really hated. And uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more of those awesome wrap-ups. And have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!